Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We're at the Florida RV Super Show, and the video you're about to watch came from a longer stream. In fact, not only is it from a longer stream, but it's got one of the manufacturer reps in there with us. And so it's going to be a little bit different than our normal long form content, so we hope you enjoy. So this is the 286 BHU. So we'll just cover some of the outside. All right, as you can see, there's two doors, which is really cool, right? You got a door for the bedroom. You got a door for the back, a super, super long awning that covers almost the entire side, guys. Both doors. Both doors, right? So you're not getting wet anywhere if, well, I don't know about you, but I never have my, my uh, awning out in the rain. But uh, anyway, so back up here. So just like the last one, nice big storage, heated underbelly, electric stabilization jacks. You do have your normal type uh, RV stairs on this door, but you got your uh, step above steps over there. Okay. Um, there's a little pass through here. There is no outdoor kitchen on this model, Bob. Apologize. But you do have, oh, look at that. That is that a refrigerator? Oh, look at that crap. Oh my goodness. Holy cold drink, Batman. I thought that was going to be storage. Y'all faked me out. Holy. And I, I'll show you. And I saw the 35 degrees. I'm like, yeah. that's a refrigerator. It's got positive patches so they won't just fall down with a magnet. Excellent. They hold with a pin, so that's nice. All Holy right. crap. Look at this, guys. All right. Can, can we put? No, we can almost put. Yeah. All right. Look. look oh, wow. I just I got storage envy now. Look at this, and, a, and it's a huge door. That's about 30. Three, uh, about 32 inches by about 40. 42. We, we left our tape measure in the truck. Oh, yeah. So obviously there was huge storage there because this is a, a, a bunk area, which interestingly enough, um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go to the back. I'm gonna go back outside. And don't, don't open that yet. Yeah. So, I'm, so you can see. That whole storage area is is actually a bunk here. Look at this. So it was in the, we're gonna travel and store stuff mode, but now it's time to sleep. And so it just slides down, now it's a bed. Obviously there's a mattress that goes on there, but but it's- Under storage, you can leave it like this. If you don't need to carry anything to size, yeah. you can leave it in this position and it's ready to go, or if you need it for bikes, that's what you can Batman. Um, dry weight. Do you know what the dry weight of this is by chance? 7150. 7150. So there's your dry weight, 7150. Okay. So we have our little bunks in the back. All right. So you got two bunks there, which is great. There's a little wardrobe just to the left of it. Hi, hey, everybody. There you go. Some hanging space up there. There's also a little cubby down there. Okay. Um, with the, the bunks there, I don't see outlets, but there's USB charging ports. There's a USB charging port there. And there's a USB charging port there, and there's a USB charging port there, right there. There you go. Okay. Um, also, that's where your sort of electric panel is. Okay. Um, and there's also some octopus hangers, right? The kids want to put their coats up there or whatever. There's a place for that. Um, as we were coming in the door, standing on the step, there's your theater seats. I'll give this to Lisa if you don't. Here you go. Same theater seating setup. It's got storage in the arms, storage yep. in the center, full sides. Yep. Yeah, just a color lighter stick. Right. Same sort of thing with that the, the, right, the table that we looked at the last one. Got a yeah. tip, which is great, so you can move it around, look outside, move it over here. Right. Uh, same thing with a bench, the storage converts into a to a bed as well, which is awesome. Okay. Um, same sort of barrel volt, and we're still on spray down. Um, refrigerator is on this side. Okay. Um, in this unit. Okay. Same 12 volt oh, Everture like in the other. Oh, thank you, Angela. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Angela. All right, and then look at this kitchen. Oh, you know, the only thing I didn't mention was sort of the entertainment center. There's your TV right there. It's directly across from the, the banquette here, the dining area. You got built-in uh, stereo system, audio and all that stuff. There's cabinetry underneath. Oh, look at that. There's a nice cabinet down there. Okay. And, and the countertop, which sort of connects itself to the kitchen. So, again, you know, when you're doing that... Uh, you know, big uh, oriental cooking and you got 27, you know, chopped veggies to go into a wok. You got place for them all. Absolutely. I love <laughs> that. I love this. It's awesome. Um, so, yeah, we do have our microwave up here. Um, we've got a three burner stove 
and an oven. This is Greystone um, unit. I'm sure it is the microwave. Um, we have a single basin sink with a nice tall faucet. Um, we have a deep little sink here. <laughs> it's magnetic. Oh, look at that. I didn't say it. Sorry. I was. Look at that. Yeah, yeah that's great. Right. So you can put all your knives there. It, 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 yeah, that's great. But if, if I put the knives up there, it's easier for her to get to throw them at me. So, <laughs> but yeah, I may have to take that off in our unit. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right. This goes all the way back. All so, back. lots of storage there. And then here we have what's that storage here underneath the seat. Nice. And this is some outlets there for your And that one's on the uh, inverter. It which is. It's great, so you can have your coffee in the morning. Right, I love that. And then we have some storage doors over here. Nice. Yeah. All right, and again, this is also mid-bath, kind of like the other one. And so we're, we're, we're not going to sit on that. It's just like the other bathroom we were in. All right, so there's plenty of room for the tall people in there. Okay, same exact vanity as the last model we were just in. Same mirror. Again, you can see your entire self being my height. Same exact shower. Again, because it's barrel voltage, you could be 6'9 and stand in there, which is great for all you tall people. You know what? I'll just at least climb it there. So people have reference in case you were joining us late. All right, so there's plenty of room for the tall people in here. Shower head's in a great spot. Got some shelves, top and bottom. Again, I'm not sure what the bottom shelves are for. I'll let you use your imagination on what you could use those for. But. Well, I'm thinking, you know, you could have kids in there. That it, even though it is a shower, it, there's you could put a couple inches of water I, I, in there. I guess. Yeah, and, or, or, or bathe your animal. Yeah, bathe right? your animal. Sure. So, okay. Right. Absolutely. And then the bathroom. Yeah. Again, with your separate entry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Forgot about the separate yep. entry. Um, the storage is just like the other one, right? You've got your uh, cabinets left and right with the hanging racks, shelves up top. Okay. Um, there's just like the other one. This has got your sort of storage here, some additional storage in the bedroom. Okay. The one different thing here is over on this side of the bed, there's a little hole over here. That I would make a hammer or something like that. Yeah, you can put your dirty laundry. Yep. All right. Oh my gosh, this is excellent. Yeah. All right, so let's 